Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's on my MacBook Pro and all the apps that I have. So without further ado, let's just get started. So this is my screensaver and this is my desktop. So I just have this background of peonies. I really, really like it. I then have a little sticky note on the side here where I just have my to-dos for the week. Then on my dock, I have Finder, Launchpad, Spark, Google Chrome, Spotify, Calendar, Notes, Reminders and Stickies. Stickies is obviously this. Then going into my launch pad, I have everything organized into folders. I have my Adobe folder and all the Adobe programs that I have are Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Media Encoder, XD and then I have Cinema 4D which isn't an Adobe program but it kind of just goes with like my motion graphics and everything. I then have my app and web design folder so in this folder I have Sketch, I have Envision Studio and I have Visual Studio Code. So Sketch is where I make my medium to high fidelity wireframes and Vision Studio is where I do all the UX designing. And then Visual Studio Code is just the coding program of my choice. I then have my notes folder and in my notes folder I have Good Notes which syncs up to my iPad as well. So I have all the folders that I have on my iPad on my laptop as well. So I'm able to go and see all the notebooks that I have all my notes on my laptop. I can also just add notes into here from my laptop, add PDFs straight into GoodNotes. I can literally just drag and drop it into GoodNotes and it'll show up on my iPad. I then have MindNode. I haven't really used this too much, um, but it's like a mind map kind of thing. I also have it on my iPad, but as I said, I haven't been using it recently because I only recently downloaded it. I have pages over Word. It's just more simple, more direct. I just use it to write my essays in a clean format and there's not a lot of additional stuff. I then have Keynote. Keynote is what I use to make my presentations on. I then have Adobe Acrobat, which is just a PDF reader. Then in my organized folder, I have the calendar app, the reminders app, the notes app, the calculator, and the sticky. So these are mainly on the dock over here. In my social folder, I have messages, Spark, FaceTime, Spotify, and Google Chrome. In my Apple folder, I have QuickTime, which I use to screen record and stuff, system preferences, photos, photo booth. Hidden Me is an app that you can use to clear anything on your desktop so it looks clean. However, I try and maintain my desktop clean so that there is no icons on it. But if there is icons on it and I just want my desktop to seem clean or look clean, I can use this app. So how I use it is I would go to here where it is at the top here and I'll click that and I'll be like hide desktop icons and it would hide desktop icons and now I show desktop icons and they'll show up but you do have to remember to turn it on and off otherwise it'll just seem like you've lost all your documents meanwhile you haven't. I then just have the app store, safari, preview, books, mail, contacts, apple tv, podcasts, music, find my, macbook, maps and siri. I then have this miscellaneous folder of all this stuff that I just don't use that came with the laptop. I just feel like it's more organized this way that it's just there if I even need it, but I don't need it and I don't ever use it. So it's just here in a folder kept away so that everything looks clean and nice. I then have this creative cloud folder, also just a bunch of stuff that I don't use. So I've just shoved it in here away from everything else so that I can just easily find mainly these top folders. So the folders that I used to keep on my desktop were the YouTube folder, my personal folder and my commissions folder. Those were the three things that I mainly have and then I have this screensaver folder which is the photos I have for my current screensaver at the moment. This Adobe folder can be deleted. So that is everything on my MacBook. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe, comment down below. Also, if you're new and you liked this video, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.